Hey guys, Blake here from Into Mobile. Today we're gonna take a quick look at the uh, the newly released uh, Chrome beta browser for um, for Android. Google just released this earlier today, and this will probably eventually going to be replacing the stock Android browser on phones. But right now it's currently limited to Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, so that's why we have our Galaxy Nexus and our Transformer Prime um, to go over a couple of the new features. Um, this is very much uh, Chrome. It's it's fast, it's snappy, but it is definitely still a beta. You're going to find some quirks here and there, but um, some of the noticeable features behind that aren't in the back end are the way that um, that the browser handles tabs. It's it's actually pretty pretty nice. I have about four tabs um, going right here, and instead of like having to hit one and then you know switch to it like you do in the regular browser, um, Chrome for the Chrome beta actually lets you just swipe from you have to go from the the edge to over here and it's kind of hard you can't really do it unless you're really intentionally trying to do it it could be you could do it on accident but um it's pretty nice just a uh, fangoria i'm a horror geek so that's why i go to and there's another one Got another little horror little site for gaming pretty cool site rely on horror and next bus we're in san francisco you gotta get around um, so yeah, that's it's pretty neat how you just um, flip through tabs. You can't dismiss them, but the way you manage tabs has also been updated, so this is pretty nice. So you hit that button, and much like um, the other, the stock Android browser, you just hit the uh, button. It's very simple. We'll go back to it in a second. Um, but you see this is a nice card, card layout you do. Um, so it's easy as uh, dismissing by swiping. And also has like kind of tilts when you swipe to dismiss. Um, it's pretty much the universal gesture you'll find out you'll find through um, ice cream sandwich. So it's actually pretty nice. And also a simple and kind of useless feature is this um, tilt. The tilt uh, tilting. Uh, let me see if you can do it this way. I'm not really sure how you do it that well, especially if I'm recording on this. But it's easy enough, you can just kind of flick your your tabs back. Something like that. It works, I promise. Alright, so we're going to dismiss this one, and that one, and this one, and we're just going to tap on this, and it'll bring me right back to it. As you can see, there's not much going on. It's very simple on the top. There's just the navigation and search bar, the tab button, and the action overflow um, option. Uh, you can call it a menu if you want. That's what it is. So you'll also notice that you can add a new tab, the standard um, incognito tab, access your bookmarks. But they also added the navigation methods from back, forward, and to add a bookmark immediately um, from the current page you're on. So that's a pretty nifty feature. But actually, let's add a new tab and to see what else you can do. So you just hit the tabs button asked for a new tab and then you'll be brought to a screen that you're probably going to be familiar with if you use the Chrome browser on the desktop. It's actually pretty pretty interesting. I mean, it, this just basically shows you the past past websites you were on on this one, but you can actually change the view as well. So this just has the past websites I was on and right here you can go to your bookmarks and you can actually access bookmarks from your desktop browser if you're using Chrome Sync. Other bookmarks, which is also an option within the um, the desktop version, and your mobile bookmarks. So they will all be synced, and for quick access, it's actually pretty nice. But right here, we already know that Chrome Sync is actually a pretty awesome feature. But how about this one right here? This is um, this button will actually um, sync up to all the open tabs that are open on your desktop or other device that has is. Um, currently compatible. So right behind me, I have my computer, and I have all of these, um, all of these windows open. So as as soon as I um, I close one um, after it syncs, it'll reflect that right here. So you can truly leave your leave your desktop and then carry on. So it's actually pretty cool. We like that. And what else do we got here? Let's go right here. So this is um there's a lot more settings options if you want to go. You I mean everything is so other other devices. Right now it, I only have my desktop, so um that's all that's gonna pop up. But you have a lot more settings. Let me see if I can grab 
the settings menu. So it can show who you're signed in as, what email address you have it done, and just um, a couple of more tweaks that you, you would expect to find in an actual Google Chrome browser. All right, so that's pretty much the quick overview of the phone, but right before we jump in, or we leave you, we're going to show you how it looks on a, um, on a tablet. So right here we have the Asus Transformer Prime, and look at that. It looks pretty much exactly like the desktop version. Um, this isn't really that surprising when Honeycomb and Ice Cream Sandwiches have tabbed uh, browsing for a while, but the one thing that we um, have noticed, we haven't really dove into into the tablet version too much, but we did notice that the way they handle tabs, I'm sorry if you see that weird animation on the screen, but handling tabs is a little different on tablets. So instead of swiping to and from just to get to one, you'll go from the the edge of the of the display and then you'll just slowly move because it'll no oh, make sure so it'll slowly switch your tabs so it's actually a little easier to do since you're dealing with such um a larger screen real estate and it'd probably be a little easier than just swiping back and forth so it looks like you can actually do that so yeah there you go it happens a little quick, so you have to kind of get used to it, but it is, it seems it's a little more intuitive, especially, and once you get it, you'll, you'll get it, pretty much everything on Android. All right, so that was a really quick look. Um, we'll, we're still digging in and playing around with it, so if we find anything else that catches our eye, we'll be sure to update. All right, thanks for watching, guys.